Hi, this is Nancy Cohen. I'm with Suns.Global, and we're here today to talk about how to migrate out of a second-day church into a third-day kingdom mentality. I want to springboard this off of the previous one, which was called Charting New Dimensions. Uh, I want to begin by saying one of the accusations that people make against me is beware of anybody teaching new things because the word says there is nothing new under the sun. And it's true, and I'm in agreement with that. There is nothing new under the sun. But what I'm, not, what I'm teaching is not new, and in fact, it's very ancient. And if you'll plug into the teachings on the order of Melchizedek, you'll be open to understand that this is walking on ancient pathways. Uh, I want to start today with nothing new under the sun because um, everything that is in the earth is a perfect reflection of things that are in the heavenly realms. Actually, electricity for one. It has always been here. But until somebody downloaded the technology on how to make that valuable for humanity. All that man could do was stand on the shore of the sea and watch the lightning and, and, and just stand back and wonder, look, light in the midst of the darkness. Or the alternative would be to turn around and run away in fear, which is what a lot of people are doing today. But until somebody downloaded the technology to make electricity valuable to humanity, all they could do is watch the electricity in the sky. I'm so thankful that somebody downloaded the technology to how, how to use electricity. Otherwise, I would not be making this video for YouTube. We wouldn't have computers. We wouldn't have lights. We wouldn't have telephones, televisions, none of those kinds of things, which depend on the use of electricity. Uh, a technology of flight is another thing that has always been here in the earth. Uh, until somebody downloaded the technology of how to make that benefit humanity, all that man could do is stand on the shore of the sea and watch the birds fly, thinking in their hearts, oh, I wish I could be a bird. Then I could go wherever I wanted to go. I could see everything from very high heights. But until somebody downloaded that technology, to make it beneficial for man to fly, we never realized that we could fly. The technology has always been here for many of the things that I'm teaching on this YouTube channel. The issue is the downloading of accurate technology and how to make it benefit all humanity. This picture is a picture of how we functioned in the age of the church. In the 20th century church, most everything, uh, in fact, we would even judge the, the presence of God by what we could see, what we could hear, what we could sense, what we could feel with our human feelings. This is a good picture that shows that, uh, uh, that everything that we see is not all that is actually there. When I say this is how we functioned in the age of the church, what I mean is we would judge whether or not the presence and the glory of God was present by how many people ran to the altar? How many people were slain in the spirit? How many people spoke in tongues? How many goosebumps did we get during worship? How many people were healed? How many signs and miracles were done? It was all dependent on what we could see. But in the age of the kingdom, this is exactly what happens. It is more than meets the eye. 90% of everything we're going to do is dependent on the unseen realm, not on the seen realm. I love the pictures of these icebergs because 90% of this iceberg is in the invisible realm. If I were the captain of the Titanic and I judged the value of that iceberg by what I could see with my eyes, I would sink the ship because 90% of it is in the invisible realm. <clears throat> this is exactly where we've been. We've been very infantile on the way that we think about things in the way that we perform. And in fact, we've been limited to operating in less than 10% of the full glory of the Lord and the full power that he wants to manifest through us. When I first began to teach this, people would get mad. They would say, well, I can do signs and miracles and I can raise the dead. That's spiritual maturity. But actually, according to Hebrews chapter 11, all of that is first principles. 
That's why the word says, I would not, brethren, you continue to lay again the foundation of the first principles of Christ Jesus. Repentance from dead works, the baptisms, laying on of hands, resurrection from the dead, faith towards God, and the doctrine of eternal judgment. Rather, set these things aside now and come up to perfection. This is where we're going. And I love this picture because we're beginning now to understand the value of living from the inside out. There are many different areas of the kingdom, many, many, many different dimensions. And the one dimension that we're focusing on at the present moment is establishing the kingdom within. Many people, especially those in the mystical movement, are wanting to launch out into the galaxy, do signs in the universe, control the, control the constellations, do all of those things, but they have not yet dealt with the kingdom within. Until we take governance of the kingdom within, we're going to be putting ourselves in danger, biting off more than what we can chew. This is what we are actually becoming. I love the pictures of transfigured men because that when Jesus says in John 14, 12, the things that I've done, you will do also. Indeed, greater things than I have done will you do because I'm going away to the Father. When he said we can do the things he did, that includes transfiguration. So right now at the present moment, we're in a state of preparation for ultimate transfiguration. And when I say transfiguration, I'm not talking about a theoretical transfiguration. I'm talking about a seeable, tangible, touchable, recognizable manifestation of light being from within so that we can bring about the restoration of all things. The time is here now for corporate ascension. That's what suns.global does. There are many doors and many windows in the heavenly realms, but one door that's talked about more than any other is the door to the tabernacle of the congregation. That is the dwelling place where the congregation itself comes together. This is a demand for a prophetic shift. That means we have to now draw a line in the sand. We have to put behind the things that are behind and press on undaunted towards the prize of our high calling in Christ Jesus. That means putting behind the limitations of the way that we function in the age of the church. When I say that we were only functioning by 10%, I can actually prove that scripturally. Jesus told his own disciples, uh, I tell you the truth, there are many things that I want to tell you, but you cannot endure them all right now. Then he prepared his disciples by saying, I'm going away, but it's expedient for you that I go away, for if I don't go away, I cannot send the Holy Spirit. But when he, the Spirit of truth, comes, he will be the deposit on your future inheritance. He's the deposit. That's actually a Greek translation of a, a, a real estate term, which means a 10% down payment to secure future ownership. The glorious word for us today is we're now stepping out of the 10%. Have you ever wondered why everybody doesn't get saved? Everybody doesn't get healed? Everybody doesn't do signs and miracles? It's because we've been functioning in very low levels. Now the Lord is calling us to step into the fullness of our inheritance. The word says in Galatians chapter 4, the sons, that's us. Though we are heir to all things, that's us, because we're joint heirs to heaven with everything that he created, still has need of teachers and tutors and guides put over him until he steps into the fullness of the measure of the body of Christ. The issue is that we are now leaving the function of the 10%. We're growing up into the fullness of the measure of Christ Jesus, and we're about ready to step into the fullness of our inheritance. What is the fullness of our inheritance? The Lord said it, and he said it and repeated it several times and in several different ways. All rule, all reign, all power, all authority was given to me in heaven and earth by my Father, and that which he gave me, I now give you. The reason why he could state that in present terms is because in the realms of the Spirit, there's no such thing as past or present or future. 
Everything that can ever be accomplished has already been accomplished in the realms of the spirit. That's why the Lamb of God was slain before the earth was ever even created, because the completed work of God was done before creation's time. We're now living in time and space and distance, which are earthly paradigms. But when we learn how to be released from time and space and distance, there is a limitlessness that he will put in our hands. The word says it this way, it has not yet been revealed what you shall be. But when you see me as I am, not just your healer, not just your deliverer, not just your provider, not just... uh, When you see me as I am, that's everything from the beginning to the end, then you shall be like me. When you see me as in a mirror reflected, you shall know me as well as I know you. That's an amazing statement because what does that say and what does he know about us? Every thought we think, every word we speak, every deed we do, how many cells are in our body, how many hairs are... He knows everything about us. His word says when we become the perfect reflection of that glory, we can know him as well as he knows us. The more that we ascend into the heavenly realms, the more that we ascend into the kingdom within, the more that we stand in front of him face to face, eye to eye, toe to toe, the more we become the perfect reflection of his glory. If you want more information on how to become the perfect reflection of his glory, according to the word of God, Come and visit us on sons.global where we have in-depth teachings that will carry all of this into far greater depths. We love you and we're thankful for you. If you've enjoyed this teaching, uh, check that on the YouTube channel. Subscribe to us and say that you like what we're doing. I further want to encourage you to come to sons.global or get my book Limitless, which can be found on Amazon that gives testimony to the truths that I'm teaching on on YouTube channel here. God bless you all. Have a great day. We'll look forward to seeing you all again soon.